is up everyone? Today I wanted to talk to you about what I think the two most important tricks in skateboarding are. Kickflip. Tray flip. Varial? No. Okay. I got you. Speed round. Impossible. Laser. Varial heel. Dolphin. Hard. Inward heel. Casper. Flingo. Pogo. Primo? No. Was any of those with Lynn at the end of it? Did you even read the description? Is it a tray flip? No. They're super beautiful. Everyone loves them. They always feel good. But no, it's not. It's more fundamental. The two tricks I think the building blocks of all other tricks are an ollie and a pop shove. Think about it and break it down. Tray flip is a combination of 360 shove it and a kick flip. Meaning, you'll need to know how to ollie to learn the kick flip and shove it to learn the three shove. Put them all together, tray flip. If you want to learn how to do both ollie and shove it, stick around or just go ahead and skip forward into the video. Just behind the bolts or about middle of the board. Your back foot will be about center of the tail, the ball of your foot. Jump. You jump off one foot. That. And you're just gonna pop. Remember, don't stand on the ground like too long. Don't lean too far back or you'll do that. It's just a quick. Practice that to get the feel of the pop. Okay. Your front foot after the pop is going to slide up. And that's going to pull the board up. Your toes and the front foot will be about just barely hanging off the edge of the other side. You can adjust this differently depending on how high you need to go or what your obstacle is. See, I pop in the pocket. You'll get a little more pop you pop on the edge of the tail. is a similar position, a little closer to the bolts in the front. Back foot is a little bit more on the tail. Pretty much all your, your toes will be just at the edge of the board. The front foot you can use to guide and when you jump, the front foot will come up, kind of stay straight, and then just follow. Almost like you're just taking a step. Alright, your back foot will then almost as if you're kicking something away from
Alright, one more time, one more time. Almost any trick that you do will be easier to do rolling, but you could find yourself a crack and put the board in to help keep it from moving. The only problem is you almost never land back in the crack. If you get on grass, grass may be a little wet, you don't want to get your board dirty, and it doesn't have as much pop. So you can take a tennis ball and cut about half of it. It's a pain in the butt to get them on. and just slide over the end. Kind of helps keep it from moving. I think skate trainers do a little bit better of a job than these, but these work for the time being. about losing balance and rolling away. I'm gonna kick it. I come back later, get a little bit more skating in today. I would love to do that. I need to go change. Uh, also, I just came straight off of work. Maybe eat something. Definitely need something to drink. Um, but, uh, stay tuned. More uh, skate trick tips. Uh, just more tips. Um, if you guys have any suggestions to help out the beginner um, or anything that you found that helped you, because not everybody's the same, not everybody's skate journey is the same. You, know, you have to skate the way you want to skate, your style, your way, um, the way you want to do it. Um, these are just meant for helpful hit tips, hints um, for you to use to help build your uh, trick profile. But if you have anything to help somebody else just starting out or even more complicated tricks that we're going to touch on in, uh, in the future, just leave it in the comments below, okay? Um, that's going to be it for this one. We're going to kick it, get some food, and uh, y'all just keep skating, keep doing your thing.